You missed it. Tell the bartender this time I want a drink, not dessert. I shot a 78. Where were you? Where was I? Having a pitched battle with my 16-year-old. Sandra, the Earth Princess, gets home last night at 3 a.m. like nothing happened. Sandra's a good kid. She just wants to have fun. Fun? Huh. I'll tell you what kind of fun she got in mind. Jerry. Don't look, but who's that masterpiece at the next table? I said, don't. Jessica Lynn. Forget her. She only goes out with movie stars. That kid of mine's got one thing on the brain. Boys. Skinny boys with blank expressions. Jerry, you're overreacting. Leave your daughter alone. She'll be fine. Leave my daughter alone? What is the matter with these people? Jessica, I'm Nick Foley. Now, besides being very beautiful, you're obviously intelligent, so I won't waste your time or mine. I'd just like to be able to call you sometime. Simple yes or no will do. No. Jim Putterman left his girls alone. Who's Jim Putterman? My accountant. Wonderful guy. Calm. Relaxed. Last week, I practically had to talk him down off a ledge. What happened? His kid, Roxanne, got herself in trouble. Girls today, it's a whole new ball game. The way they dress, all that low-cut stuff. The tight pants with the belly button showing. Andre had a pair yesterday so tight her feet started to swell up. I'm not saying those things don't happen. Excuse me, Jessica. Look, if I can't call you, there's only one possible way we can connect, and that's if you call me. I make a deal with you. See that trash can over there? Here's my phone number. Throw this away, and I'm out of your life forever. Will you stop that and pay attention? This is important. You took on, what, five girls, all orphans? That is a lot of grief potential. Those girls are the greatest things that ever happened to me, and raising them has been an absolute joy. Girls are great. See those looks? Did I tell you? As long as they're just looking. You gotta admit, he's a hunk. Only from the brain down. Big deal. It's all hormones. I'm learning about it in biology. Don't knock those hormones till you get some, child. What's up, Diane? Not much. You look great. Thanks. Are you busy tonight? No. You want to go out? Sure. OK, listen, I'll pick you up at 8. You and Duke? Diane, get serious. He's an aristocrat. So? You don't know about the black book? What black book? Mickey, go wait over there. How come? Just do it. Beat it. They say the aristocrats keep a black book with girls' names in it. That's how they keep track of their batting averages. I don't believe it. He would never do that. I can tell just by looking at him. He is so beautiful. We'll talk about it. Come on, Diane. Come on, Diane. Come on! Diane, come on! I will follow him, follow him wherever he may go. There isn't an ocean too deep, a mountain so high it can keep me away. Never thought she knew there was such a thing as basketball. Okay. 
Come on. Come on. Okay, this is it. This is where we separate the men from the boys. I need guts here. People who can play with pain. I don't know the meaning of the word quit. Am I going to get it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, 28 on four. Yeah. Uh. Ah, shut up, you little bug. Hey, this is really no fair. I mean, three against two. So go call Diane. She's getting ready for a date. With do? Two days in a row. Do I know this guy? No, you've been out a lot. Hey, I'm popular. Okay, fourth and inches. Seconds to go. The crowd is on its feet. In the long history of the Rose Bowl, there's never been anything like it. Ready, set, hot one. Mr. Foley, Gov, telephone. This is a critical situation, Clapper. No calls. Who is it? I'll call back. It's a Miss Jessica Lynn. But what is this? A freak driving snowstorm suddenly hits Pasadena. A terrible calamity causing the game to be postponed to resume on another date. Another Rose Bowl first. Jessica Lynn? Sounds like a new one. It's gotta be. If it was an old girlfriend, he'd have finished the game. Jessica, what took you so long? Don't be arrogant. I'm free on Friday night. Good. You're busy tonight? Yes, I am. What about tomorrow night? I'm going to San Francisco. So drop by on the way to the airport. Can't you wait a couple of days? For you? I can't wait a couple of minutes. <sighs> well, I can't stay long. My plane leaves at midnight. Well, I've got a hundred bucks. That says you're going to want to cancel that flight. Nick, you're going to have to be the best thing since Fudge Ripple for that to happen. I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, we still going to the movies tonight? Of course we're still going. What do I look like, a kid neglector? Tell you what, pick out whatever you want to see and you got it. Okay. Um... A summer place is at the Crown, but I saw that. So did I. I definitely don't want to see a movie about hormones. Girl. Hormones? A summer place is a love story, all about teenage desires and relations. All hormones. I learned about it in biology. Pick something else. I never took biology. Uh, Godzilla. Not for me. Godzilla? I don't want to see Godzilla. Get away from me, you little creep. Help! Somebody help me! Rio Bravo, oh please, I haven't seen that yet. Godzilla, I want Godzilla. You may be Godzilla, but I am the Wolfman Dracula Mummy Blob. Nova, Duke will be here any minute. Can I borrow your hoop earring? They're in my top drawer. Thanks, I love you forever. Yeah, no. So, what are we gonna see? Rio Bravo, okay? Sure, okay. fine. Okay, with me. Kid. Next week, you and me, Godzilla. Ah! <laughs> okay, go get your coats. We'll catch a bite on the way. Okay, all right. Go, go, go. Rose, come here a second. Who's this uh, guy Diane's seeing? Duke? I don't know him very well. But you don't like him, right? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. When Diane mentioned his name, you practically strangled the newspaper. Look, it's none of my business. Of course it's your business. Come on, what's wrong with him? I think he's too fast. Fast? You mean, fast? Well, that's just my opinion. Good afternoon. Who shall I say is calling? Tell Diane the Duke's here. The Duke of what? Huh? Never mind, Your Lordship. I'll inform her. I don't like the looks of that one. Hi. I'm Nick Foley. Hi. It's a nice house you got here. Thank you. Interesting jacket. Ah, it's my club jacket. Aristocrats. 
kind of club is that? That's mainly social. And you know, we go out and things like that. Where are you and Diane going? Movies. We're going to see you somewhere place. All right, Diane. You ready, babe? Yeah. You think you might be a little cold, babe? Nah. All set. The others are coming. You know, somebody whose opinion I really trust told me that a summer place is a terrific movie. He drives like a bank robber. Probably is one. Coincidence. Coincidence? How could you humiliate me like that? What did I do? You were spying on us. I was looking at a movie. You were watching us. I saw you. Every time he went to put his arm around me, I could feel your eyes burn a hole in the back of my neck. I thought I would die. Uh, look, I'll admit it. I'm interested in who you go out with. Listen, this is my life, and I'll decide what to do with it. I want to experience the beauty of love and passion, everything this world has to offer. What you don't understand is that I'm not a little girl anymore. I am a mature human being. Of yeah, all the time, about my lousy grades and my lousy manners, lousy way I drive. Yeah, but what about girls? I mean, like, who you date? No, nah, they don't care about that stuff. Why not? I don't know, you know, it's different for guys. Sure, I know, I know. With guys, anything goes, right? Your father probably encourages it. How'd you make out, kid? Go get him. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no, we don't even talk about it. Really. Hey, close your eyes. What? Come on, just do it. Close it. What are you doing? Nothing. Here. Put this on. You know what this means? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I owe you a hundred bucks. I don't want to get on that plane. And don't. Take one in the morning. You think so? Mm-hmm. What time you got? 11.30. Excuse me a second. Nick, I think I will get on that plane. Sure? Yeah. Friday night, my place. No distractions. This is Miss Lynn. Nice to meet you. Hello. Bye, Nick. Good night. It's 11.30. So? So it's a school night. You never said we couldn't go out on a school night. You're right. I never said it. OK. I'm saying it now. No more going on on school nights. Well, I have a date tomorrow night. With who? The Duke? Cancel it. You have no right to change the rules like that. 
What rules? There are no rules in this house. First, let me make some rules, then we'll talk about changing them. Fine. Wait a minute. How come you're wearing his jacket? Does that have any particular meaning? Yes. It means we're going steady. It means I'm his woman. She's his woman. Lady, you're really asking for trouble. Nick finds out you were Duke, he'll go crazy. He'll never know. Look, he's playing golf now, and tonight he's got a poker game, which means he won't be home till 4 o'clock in the morning. Can't you stand being away from Duke just one night? Bye. The bartender's an idiot. This isn't a drink, it's a salad. It didn't change. We're gonna play or what? Jerry, your daughter Sandra, did she... Sandra? What about Sandra? You heard something about Sandra? No, 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 nothing. Honest, really, nothing. For a minute, I was afraid she was pulling something. One of her surprises. Look, uh, the thing I want to ask you, Jerry, is... Did Sandra ever come home wearing a boy's jacket? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nip that one right in the bud. You gotta move very fast with that jacket stuff. So how'd you handle it? Well, first I told her politely to give it back to him. Sandra laughed at me. So, one night, I snuck into her room. Yeah? When she was sleeping. Yeah? And I stole it. You stole the jacket? That's right. What would you do with it? I took it outside and I burned it. You burned the jacket? Polyester. Went up like that. Is that what happened? Some punk give one of your girls a jacket? Yeah, Diane. She came home wearing this black and gold job with stars and a little crown on it. The aristocrats. You know them? The Putterman girl. An aristocrat? They got this book. And they put the girl's name in the book after they've... You know? Hey, what? Watch where you're going. playing golf. What difference does it make? Where's Diane? Uh, maybe she's at the library. The library? Diane? Who's kidding who? Everybody's got to study sometime. The only thing Diane studies is her face. Now, she's with that Duke guy, isn't she? Come on, come clean. Why are you so uptight about them? Because I happen to think that those two are on the verge of... They could go outside and play. Why? Why? Because of this new rule that says when Nick Foley says something, the girls do it without arguing. Now go. On the verge of what? On the verge of um, two people. I don't want to talk about it. Nick, we do know things. Sure. I study it in biology. You know, ovaries, fallopian tubes, the whole bit. Fallopian tubes? You know what they are? Of course I know what they are. Women have them. They're over here by the lungs. Wrong. They're closer to the liver. Who cares where they are? I'm not interested in fallopian tubes. And schools should stick to reading and writing instead of putting ideas in girls' minds with fallopian tubes. What is the big deal? Don't you know that boys her age have only one thing on their minds? I know. I was one of them. Where are you going? To find that punk and keep him from ruining Diane's life. What's the matter? I was expecting a date, not a wrestling match. I know, I just get involved. So. I know. I just feel so cheap. I'm in the front seat of a car. Want to get him back? No. No. It's just all going a little too fast. I want romance. I want... 
I don't know. Never mind, go back to what you were doing. <laughs> Having fun? Nick! Get out of the car! Now! Right now! No, no right to! Don't even talk to me! Get that jacket off! I didn't do anything! Off with the jacket! Give me that thing! Here! Here's your jacket! I ought to burn it! I ought to burn all your jackets! Aristocrats, lover boys, black books. I'll give you a black book over your head. And what kind of name is Duke? Why'd you get a real name like George or Irwin? Someday, when you get some sense, you'll thank me for this. And then... Hey, shut up, man. Man, if you had a date, you... Yeah. Shut up! Go home to your mother! Go on, get out of here! Get out All of, of you, there. punks! Well, you off, old man. Cool out. Daughters can make you crazy. Nothing to eat, Gov? No, coffee's fine. Oh, well, then I'll be taking the girls to school. I'll give it a shake, Mickey. Are you going to eat that or frame it? Get dressed. You'll be late for school. I've made a decision. I'm leaving this house. You are leaving this house for school. School's no interest for me anymore. Well, it hasn't exactly been a major thrill for you in the past, either. Wait a minute. Have some breakfast first. I couldn't possibly eat anything. Bet you'd eat this. It's poison berry jam. Only thing is, the seeds get stuck in your teeth. What did you think we were doing last night? You really want to know? Yes. I thought you were... Yeah, yeah. I know. Look, it's not what you were doing. It's what you were going to do. And what was that? Let's just say that last night I felt like the cavalry. You don't trust me, do you? Right. And I trust the Duke even less. I'm not even allowed to have a relationship with a boy? A boy, yes. A Duke, no. We have a date tonight. Wrong. The night you stay home with your sisters, watch television, eat popcorn, or maybe, and I know this is a long shot, maybe even study. Hello. Oh, uh. Hello, Jessica. It's Friday. Right. How was San Francisco? I don't remember. My thoughts were about tonight. Oh, yeah? I called to remind you. About what? Bring a toothbrush. What's that look? Just that it's OK for you to go out, for you to have a good time, and for you to have a relationship. Right. You're 16. You're not supposed to have a relationship. You're supposed to eat cookies and giggle a lot. I'm an adult. I have relationships. Like that? Do you love Jessica? Does she love you? That is none of your business. At least I only go out with one guy, and I don't run around like a rabbit going bananas. I'm a grown-up. I'm allowed to jump around like a rabbit going bananas. Besides, I'm a man. It's different with a man. Everybody knows that. Oh, sure. The old double standard. I don't like this conversation. I don't want to have it anymore. What is it? Oh, the car's waiting. Is Diane going to school? Absolutely. She can't wait to get there. Ah! Could you imagine the nerve of that kid comparing herself to me? Like I have to answer to some kid for what I do. Is that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard, Clapper? Never mind. I don't need your opinion. I know what's right. Those kids are staying home tonight, Diane included. Dinner for six, then. Five. I'm going out. Oh. I'll be at Jessica Lynn's place. I'll leave the number. Oh. Now, what's that supposed to mean? I just said, oh. No, you didn't say, oh. You said, oh. Like, I'm supposed to stay here tonight to set some example for Diane. Well, forget it. I am not going to give up a date with a magnificent woman Something we've both been intensely looking forward to for two days. Just to satisfy that ungrateful kid. And if she doesn't like it, tough! 
All right, I'll break my date with Jesse. You feel deprived, you feel like you're giving something up, I'll give up something too. You don't believe me? I'll call her up and cancel right in front of you. We'll have a nice family evening. We'll play Monopoly. You like Monopoly? We'll have a wonderful time. Hello. Hello, Jessica. Here. So you don't think I'm talking to the gas company? Nick. Listen, I've got this divine Nat King Cole album, and I thought we might dance a little bit tonight. Among other things. Yeah? Oh, Jessica, I gotta cancel. My uncle's in the hospital. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sound is fine? See? No big deal. Diane, I want to talk to you. Duke, about last night. No, forget last night. He's an adult. Adults are crazy. I've been thinking about what you said in the car. About things getting more romantic. I think that's for me, too. This is the key to my brother's apartment. He's away for the weekend. I thought maybe we could get together tonight. Why? So I can be another name in the black book? Oh, don't say that. Well, it's true, isn't it? About the book? Yeah, it's true, I admit it. It's stupid, but it's not me. You're an aristocrat, aren't you? I, I don't even care about this. I care about you. Oh, Duke. I can't tonight. I made this agreement because Nick gave up something, and I really, really want to, but I can't. I gotta go to class. Three hundred, baby. Walk it over. This is an exciting game. I love this game. What time you got? Still eight thirty. All right. Whose turn is it? Yours. All oh, right. Five. That's mine. What? That's my piece. Oh. That's mine. All oh, right. I'm the uh, the thimble, right? Of course. Say, Charles. That's yours, Diane. Too bad you had to mortgage those houses. Yeah, that was really tragic. OK, what do I owe you? Nothing. I'm tired. I think I'll go to bed. This is just great. I mean, we're having the best time. Do you mind? I'm tired. You're bored. And you're spoiling it for everybody. Well, I'm having fun. You kidding? You don't even know what's going on. Yeah, you've been babbling through this whole game. What do you mean? I sat down. I've You're been concentrating. You're a million miles away. I sure am. I'm going to bed. Come on. Let's do something useful. Let's go eat something. Oh, no. Come on, Rose. Sit down. Let's play. This is fun. Great family night, Nick. How come we don't do this more often? Play fish? No, I'm gonna go to bed too. What a disaster. She be a teenager in love. She'll see 
I'm right and forgive But in the meantime I've got my life to live Hello Hello Jessica, it's Nick My evening suddenly cleared up How's your uncle? My uncle? Oh, my uncle, he's fine It turned out to be a sinus problem You still free? I suppose so I'll be there in ten minutes So long Make it eight. <laughs> okay. But the you cheated. I do not I was cream. Too. I did not. 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 Yeah? It's me. Diane! If you can make it, so can I. I'll pick you up. Give me half an hour. I want to look great. Your decorator. How about a little champagne? Uh, it is nice and cold, and I'm uh, a little thirsty. Later. Later. <laughs> what a Nat King call! What a voice! Want to dance? five girls, and I made a deal with Diane that she wouldn't see Duke tonight, see? And I'm talking values, you understand? You know, limits. And if you and I were to, uh... I mean, not that there's anything wrong with this. And you're wonderful that you've got champagne and not King Cole. And that. But if I don't... If I don't show that I can be adult about this... I mean, not, not that this isn't adult, this is... This is very adult, but uh, it's a big responsibility, five girls, and I've got, I've got to go now. I've got a terrible headache. You broke a heart that's gentle and true.
How's the ankle? I'm gonna get lights on those sprinklers. Why are you back? Changed my mind. Yeah? I don't want to miss the untouchables. You gonna see Duke? You gonna stop me? I'm not a policeman, Diane. You'll find a way to do what you want to do anyway. I just hope you're doing what you really want. What's that supposed to mean? Getting physical, even when everybody wants to, always seems to change things, makes life more difficult. Sex isn't an easy thing, even for adults. For kids, well, it can't be easier. I know it wasn't for me. What I'm trying to say is, There's, there's, there's plenty of time for this. It won't go away. Don't rush it. It's too important. anything? Yeah, four fingers of scotch. Wasn't you thinking of cutting down? That's all I'm doing is cutting down on everything. Okay, give me two fingers of scotch and two fingers of bromo. All right, all right, make it four fingers of bromo. My pleasure, Gov. What is this? It's tonic. You like it? <laughs> it's pretty lousy, huh? <laughs> I like the glasses. Yeah? I bought them for tonight. You did? Yeah, my brother only got empty jelly glasses. I also bought the candles and flowers. And the record. When did you do all this? Yesterday, in case you said yes. Duke, listen. I can't. What do you mean? I can't. I just can't. Then why'd you call me? Because I thought I could. But then... Maybe this is just temporary. Come on, let's dance. No. No. What are you, some kind of tease? No, I'm not. Honest, I'm not. Yeah? Then what gives? Okay. You're right. I started this. And if it's so important to you, go ahead. Take me, I'm yours. you want, isn't it? What are you waiting for? Oh, come on. Get up, you weirdo. I'm sorry, Duke. Don't worry about it. To tell you the truth, it's kind of a relief. Always having to act like a make-out artist. It's very unrelaxing. You want to go out with someone else, I'll understand. No survives. I just bowl a lot.
kill you. Did you wait up for me? No, I just got caught up in this article. Kumquats, fruit of the future. Very informative. It says you're supposed to eat the seeds. Come on, you want to know what happened, right? No, it's none of my business, really. You were worried about me, weren't you? Not really. I said what I had to say. The rest was up to you. Okay. But if you feel better to talk about it... We didn't do anything. What are you doing up? I've been thinking about those hormones. Patty told me everything. She did, huh? They're scary. They make people go crazy. Uh, by themselves, maybe. But if you combine them with this, and especially a lot of this, they could be terrific. Really? Absolutely. But I'll tell you what is really scary. What? The Frankenstein Vampire Monster Spider. Uh. <laughs> 